All right. So Donald Trump is uh, supposedly being arrested next week. Okay, good. Um, if there are any others, uh, let's arrest them too. Uh, let's arrest uh, Obama. Uh, Biden, if he's criminally liable for something he did. Um, George W. Bush for the Iraq war and so on and so forth. Uh, arrest them all. Um, I see a lot of people right now playing partisan politics with this uh, when it's, it's just it's just a, it's just a legal matter. This is just about legality, the law and someone breaking the law and presidents break laws. They break a lot of laws. OK, international laws, domestic laws doesn't matter. They break a lot of laws. They go to war without the approval of Congress. Uh, they drone countries without approval from Congress. They they do a lot of illegal things, okay? Um, so I'm here to say don't stop at Trump. Uh, arrest Obama uh, uh, for his drones. Um, Trump for drones too, because he continued that. Uh, you know, in, in you know, Bush for the Iraq war and whoever else has done something illegal, okay? We're, we're not doing the partisan politics here. I'm not doing it. People want to say this arresting of Trump is a partisan thing. Well, it doesn't have to be. You just arrest the other people, the other presidents who have done illegal shit too. And whoa, all of a sudden, it's not a partisan thing. We're actually looking objectively at the law. Isn't this a nation of laws? I've always been told from the get-go, this is a nation of laws. Well, we're waiting for that application. Because it's never happened to the President of the United States. And I'm sure there's good reasons for that. But at some point, <laughs> you just become lawless and unruly with your power and, and you know you're, you're something of a dictator uh, you know a fascist uh uh you know a, a power hungry uh insatiable killing machine as so many presidents have been in my lifetime um and, and you know if, if joe biden's on the hook or something investigate him this isn't a partisan thing this thing with trump is not partisan just apply the law, vet him through the process. Did he commit a crime or didn't he? And we can apply this to other presidents too. Hopefully going forward, I don't know how much in the past we're going to get, but going forward, the president isn't above the law, okay? This is long overdue. It just took an unruly person like Donald Trump to really kick it into high gear and to enact you know, that we go after somebody because he's so pathologically, like, he, he pathologically does does wrong things. He does everything he wants to do. And, and there's so much law breaking along the way that you can't uphold the precedent of not, uh, you know, criminalizing the president. That mold is shattered. Trump shattered that mold. Now we have to because it's, like, the dude is like a cartoon when it comes to rule-breaking. Like, he does not care about the law. He doesn't care about boundaries. He doesn't care about doing the right thing. And, 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 and you know, in a way, this is a great thing going forward, that the president of the United States will be held accountable going forward. That that possibility exists now because of Donald Trump, because he's so lawless, because he's so reckless uh, and does not care about the law in a brazen fashion. They, there's no other recourse here but to try to go after this guy for everything he did and set the precedent that presidents must be held more accountable for once. <laughs> it's never happened. We've never had anybody this reckless, this lawless, like Donald Trump. If Biden's done something, it doesn't even come close to Trump. Uh, I, like, this is just like the beginning for Trump. You understand? This is like just the start. He's going to have court cases for January 6th. 
he's going to have court cases uh, uh, for, for his other lawless activities. I can't even think right now, but there's four major cases. This is one of four. This is just the beginning. You know, he's going down for something. Oh, yeah, the Georgia election where he tried to buy off the election or, you know, there's, there's fraud going on there. You know, you got the campaign finance stuff going on right now that he's going to get arrested for next week. You have the January 6th insurrection. Uh, and there's one other one I'm missing. But listen, this guy does not care. <laughs> While other presidents are, 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 are you know, more uh, particular about breaking laws, Donald Trump wasn't. OK, and he brought this on himself and he brought this on the presidency. OK, he is the guy who broke the mold. He will always be remembered as the guy who put the spotlight like, like with a criminal spotlight on the presidency. Uh, because we've never done it. Uh, presidents have gotten away with pretty much anything. Um, not anymore. And that's all Trump's fault. It's just his fault. Uh but this isn't partisan at all. Go after anybody in government who is willing, willingly breaking the law. It's that easy, folks. It's really that easy. When you take off the partisan goggles, just apply the law to whoever's, to whoever's breaking it in government. That's, that's it. We don't have to go anywhere else. This doesn't have to be a Republican and Democrat thing. Apply it to everybody. But I get it. Tribal politics. I get it. We're a very divided nation right now. More than I've ever seen in my lifetime. I get it. It's going to happen. But this is actually a good thing going forward. That the President of the United States can be held accountable is a good thing. <laughs> um, that promotes law and order. That promotes accountability. Uh, at that level, where there doesn't seem to be any. Presidents can start wars at any time without Congress. Uh, you know, they have the executive pen. They have a lot of power, and we have to look at it and say, okay, there's some criminality here. Let's hold the president accountable. That's a good thing.